Heck yes, we finally got a win. That was a interesting game actually. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves10yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Uh, before we jump into this one, I just want to get a couple things out of the way. So first and foremost, if you're not already, please subscribe. Uh, obviously that really does do a lot for helping the channel, helping us progress, uh, hopefully sharing this with your friends, all that kind of stuff, like the video, all that. It really does mean a lot to us and it makes a huge difference. But on top of that, uh, you may notice from my voice that I'm a little sick today. Uh, I've been sick for the past couple days and it's been really unfortunate uh, because we did have like a little vacation this past weekend and all that stuff. I did get checked for COVID. It is not COVID from what I've been told. Uh, I, I did get tested and I was negative, but uh, just been feeling kind of rough. Feels like the flu, like that kind of stuff. And so I've been trying to take it easy the last few days. Few days. Thankfully, I pre-recorded, so I'm trying to make sure that we have gameplay up every single day. We're going on over two or it's like two or three weeks of non-stop gameplay every single day, and I kind of don't want to ruin that streak. So uh, we're going to try and push through today as well. But uh, with that being said, we've got a very fun list today. It is Rakdos Control, brought to us by Sonio. Uh, who, if you don't know, I'll link his channel down below. Fantastic YouTuber, uh, does a lot of gameplay and uh, mentioned that his favorite planeswalker is Tabalt, Cosmic Imposter, which I'll be honest, he's kind of one of mine as well. So uh, this is just an absolute powerhouse planeswalker. Being able to, to throw this down on five loyalty, exile some cards, and then just replay all those cards is massive. Uh, and so hopefully we can get this down pretty quickly. Now, the way that we do that is through mostly treasure tokens. So we've got plenty of ways to create those treasure tokens. We've got Shambling Gas. Uh, we've got Deadly Dispute that can throw a couple of them out there. Uh, we have got uh, Unexpected Windfall. We've got tons of stuff. Uh, even the Skullport Merchant, things like that. All of which can help us uh, kind of ramp into where we need to go. Uh, even the uh, Reclusive Painter is in here. Uh, but all of this to be said, all of it is leading to Tibalt. That's the goal is to get this down. So uh, most of this is a lot of control elements. We've got things like the Meat Hook Massacre, Spike Field Hazard, uh, some kill spells uh, with things like Ingenious Inspiration, Soul Shatter, uh, and Baleful Mastery, etc. We do have the full sideboard, of course, and we can play some of these cards off of the Celestis, which is quite nice to have in the deck, uh, <coughs> excuse me, because it will help us kind of progress through the game, ramp us a little bit and that kind of stuff. So we're going to give this a shot today, guys. We're going to hopefully have some fun with it, hopefully get a couple wins if we can. I did test it. It did pretty well. So we're going to try it out, guys. Hopefully have some fun along the way. Pardon me if I'm sneezing or coughing or anything like that, but we're going to we're going to push through, guys. We got this. Let's jump into game one now. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this is a this is a pretty easy keep. We've got a little bit of interaction here. We've even got the Reckless Impulse, which is going to help us get some cards off the top of our deck. Uh, and so, yeah, I think this is a pretty easy one. Um, we can lead off with the Haunted Ridge uh, and then probably just throw down the mountain here, honestly. Uh, we do want the double black uh, for the Meat Hook Massacre. That is going to be pretty important for us. So. Uh, we'll probably end up on the black side of that pathway land, but uh, overall, I think this is a pretty solid start. <coughs> Excuse me. As I said, guys, I'll probably be coughing a little bit here and there, but uh, it's all good. Do not worry. Do not fret. Uh, all right, let's throw this down. I'm just going to pass here with the Infernal Grasp up. Uh, I don't particularly want to use an Infernal Grasp on, my, on a Shambling Gas, uh, but if something big does come down, it'd be nice to have that available to us. Uh, and so that seems pretty good to me. We've got this other Haunted Ridge. Ooh, exactly the kind of thing that we would like to kill. <laughs> uh, not interested in Righteous Valkyrie being even close to on the board. So let's go ahead and remove that uh, as quickly as we can. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, and I think we just leave up Soul Shatter. We could Ingenious Inspiration. Uh, or Igneous Inspiration, excuse me. Um, but I don't actually think we need to. I think we can just pass here and see what happens. We can leave up that Soul Shatter. Exactly for this reason. So, uh, 
this is perfect. We'll just go ahead and soul shatter again. Get this out of there. <coughs> I Righteous Valkyrie is one of those cards that you just do not want to have to deal with if you don't have to. Uh, and so it's really, really good to get that off the board now. Uh, we can go ahead and just throw this out for one if we'd like. Um, or on the other hand, we could inspiration killing this and then just play our own shambling ghast actually just kind of like playing the shambling ghast here the question is do we want to play this and i actually think the answer is no i'm not going to play it quite yet uh we're not in a hurry to kill this shambling ghast we can block with our own if we'd like uh and so we'll we'll see what happens here um there's another righteous valkyrie this is okay because we are getting close to the mana we need for the meat hook massacre here And in fact, if they attack in, that's perfect for us because we do just get to kill it. Uh, but it looks like that's not going to be the case, which is fine. All right, go ahead and play the Black Source here. Uh, this is kind of fun. So let's attack first. Let's see what they do. They may, if they are worried about Meat Hook Massacre, they would just let this hit. Um, but it looks like they are not. Maybe they are. All right, there we go. Uh, I was gonna say, if they block that way, we actually just get to inspiration on that, uh, which would be kind of sick. So here we just get our treasure token. This is gonna allow us to righteous get this Righteous Valkyrie off the table now. <coughs> which again, is very worth it. Uh, this, this escalates so quickly that we just have to be able to kill all of them uh, as, as quickly as we can. And at this point, they are pretty low on resources. I mean, they do have a foretold card here and a card in hand, but that's it. Uh, so here's the hoping. <laughs> uh, let's see what they can do. Um, we're still at 16 life, so we've got a decent life total buffer as well. So even if they do throw something out here like this, uh, which is very, very good, uh, hopefully we can still make something work here. So, um, hmm. Do we Unexpected Windfall, or do we Reckless Impulse? I guess we could theoretically do both. Let's Reckless Impulse first. Uh, let's see what we get. Okay. Um, throw you down. We'll go ahead and kill one of these. It's not a super exciting play by any means, but it is a play, uh, and we've got the double inspiration maybe for next turn to take out the other one, or take out kind of anything that comes down here, so we'll see what happens. Okay, Vanishing Verse on the Meat Hook Massacre. A very good play because that does provide us with a little bit of life gain and just some life drain on their end, uh, which is relevant. So let's double up here. This isn't great, I know, but I do think it's quite necessary uh let's check one two three four five six seven so we do have enough for mascot exhibition i think we'll just take that uh and we'll go ahead and double up on this uh let's see i guess we'll just take environmental sciences it's a little bit of life gain which at this moment is really the big thing that we'll we'll want uh and it looks like our opponent may not have very much to do so let's go ahead and mascot exhibition i mean we're forcing the opponent right like this is enough pressure that they are going to have to do something okay uh well fair enough they got us on that uh, by invitation only not a card i would have expected at all uh but perfectly fine let's go ahead and do this uh, we'll just pull a red source, that is fine. We'll drop that red source down. Uh, let's go ahead and windfall. We can get rid of the land here because we really don't need any more. Uh, and we'll just drop a shambling ghast. <coughs> the world's slowest clock, but they are top decking. Uh, granted, we kind of are top decking, and that is a very good top deck from the opponent. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we're going to create a treasure token. Hope we draw Tybalt. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I am going to go ahead and get rid of one of their lands here. This is purely for deck thinning purposes. We probably should have done this first. Uh, but the reality is we really want to get Tybalt here. It's the only good answer to the Harbinger. Uh, we can exile this, then just play it if we'd like. 
uh, but I think we're kind of just getting unlucky, very flooded at the moment, uh, and there's not a lot we can do about that. Okay, uh, I mean, that is kind of an answer. Uh, it gets rid of the Valkyrie, which is worth it, but they do still have that 4-4 left behind, so at this point, we're kind of just hoping for the best. <laughs> uh, and not... I mean, Soul Shatter is not a bad card against that, so I'm happy we drew it, but... Uh, yeah, we just exile this. Again, we could have waited, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and throw the land out. I mean, we're back to square one. Uh, we, they have to have something, and we have to get Tybalt, is the reality here. <laughs> Man, so many lands. Uh, yeah. Not much we can do. Um, they're gonna be able, I mean, they've got us on a five turn clock, which is pretty relevant when we're only drawing lands, so... I'm doing this again solely to deck then, uh, but I think it's worth it uh, just to kind of get them kind of moving forward here. It also deck thins them, which is kind of a problem, but uh, I think our top deck of Tidbalt is probably very good in comparison to almost anything that they could have. Uh, Meat Hook Massacre. Okay. Uh, do we save it? It's the only question. So here's the deal. If they have anything bigger than this, we are gonna want this. Uh, so I feel like we need to save this. <laughs> They're gonna sack it. Okay. Uh, smart, because obviously they can just replay it. Uh, so that seems very, very good. They also get a couple cards out of the deal. They foretold a card. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so we are probably just going to have to rip this for two here. Uh, yeah, I think we just have to. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, we don't even have a man land that we can be attacking with. That's kind of part of the problem here is if we had a man land, like we could be dealing some damage here. We could be getting a little bit further into the deck, like just doing something, but we're... We're out of luck. The lands we've been drawing are just not good lands. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm assuming that this is going to be uh, the same card that they foretold earlier. The St Starnheim Unleashed is my guess, uh, but we'll see. Yep, there it is for five. Uh, Tybalt, not really in time, uh, but that is okay. Let's go ahead and exile the top cards here play land let's play this uh yeah i mean we're super dead here um they just get a free attack in and there's really nothing we can do um ah too little too late on the tibalt we got so many lands just in a row it was like four or five lands and that really really hurt us uh unfortunately the opponent just has a free attack in here i mean we really can't do anything uh and yeah i mean they they just have it I'm gonna go ahead and concede here, guys. Let's jump into game two right now. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this is a pretty easy keep. We've got a little bit of interaction, a nice one into two. So we can just go ahead and play Valky out uh, just to, to gain some momentum here, if nothing else. So let's go ahead and drop that Shambling Gas uh, and hope for the best. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, guys, I apologize if I uh, am coughing a good bit and that kind of stuff. It's uh, a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this. I will drop the Valky. Fully expect they'll have some number of creatures in the deck. Uh, all of these are great options. Um, I actually think it's the Predator that we take. Uh, yeah. The reason we take the Predator is because that's actually a creature we could steal. Uh, and this can get indestructible, which would be very helpful against the Blood in the Snow. Uh, now, obviously this, they just get to kill it. Fair enough. Uh, and they get that back, but we actually just have another Valky, so that's not that big of a deal. Um, we're gonna hold off on playing these Pathway Lands to the best of our ability, uh, just because, again, we don't know what we might need uh, color-wise, and so I'd like to make sure we have that available to us. 
Uh, again, just gonna take this. Now, they can just kill it again with Hero's Downfall, that is fine, but we're making them waste all of their removal as quickly as we can here. Ooh. Uh, so, they're gonna Hero's Downfall on that. Makes a lot of sense. Good news is we can exile that at some point, so even the indestructible really doesn't matter. Um, let's go ahead and throw this out, and let's attack in, and we'll just pass the turn. Uh, crucially, what we can do is Aghanim's Awakening at some point here, if we need to. Uh, do we exile this? I guess the better play is just to destroy it, because they can't sacrifice another creature at this point. So let's go ahead and do that. Get it out of there. Uh, just not something I'd particularly like to deal with, so let's make sure we've got that going. Uh, I think we play this. Um, as much as I wouldn't like to, uh, I, I, I just think we're gonna need to. We need every land we can get. I mean, remember guys, we are trying to get to Tabalt, which is seven mana. That is a lot of, a lot of needed mana. Uh, and so we do have to keep that in mind as we go through here. They are returning this to their hand, which is perfectly fine by me. Uh, there we go, we can get a second red source. So now we've got basically all the mana we could possibly need. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Aside from one, we need one more. All right, let's go ahead and punch in. Uh, Shambling Gas is doing its uh, due diligence this game, which is pretty awesome. Uh, now we can just exile this or we can just kill it uh, with the Meat Hook Massacre. Um, I think we just wait. We can drop the Meat Hook Massacre here, and that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, in fact, let's... Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, they've got no other creature here, so this is just an easy way to go ahead and get this out of here. Worth noting, they do have blood on the snow. Uh, which is going to be able to bring something back here, uh, which is kind of frustrating. But, again, it is what it is. Like, it's not uh, the end of the world for us. <laughs> Alright. Uh, they are getting ever closer, though, to... Oh, wow, that was very frustrating. Wow, that was a great card for them to have. Go blank. Not a card you expect to see. Go blank is, I mean, very good, obviously, in that position. But a lot of the time, I feel like it's kind of a wasted slot. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, we're back to square one, guys. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot going on, so we just have to hope for the best. Uh, unfortunately, they've got some very, very powerful cards in hand that we already know about, uh, and so that is going to be a bit tricky, but here we go. That is a fantastic start. Now, worth noting, we know that they can kill uh, Tybalt next turn. Uh, with the blood on the snow, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get this off the field here. I'm gonna exile it. That allows us to play it later, if we'd like. Uh, which is nice. Oh! Oh, very good! Okay! Uh, yeah, fair enough. That was a solid play. Uh, alright. Let's do this for four? Again, not great, but it's just going to keep us in the game here. So let's go ahead and kill that. And we I can just go ahead and play this, so I guess we will. Uh, there's no reason really not to. I mean, obviously they can just blood on the snow now and like get rid of it and that's fine. But we kind of need to keep the pressure on so that way they feel the need to go ahead and crack this. Uh, they get the 4-4, which is very, very good. Uh, and, yeah. Another Meat Hook Massacre. Well, uh, wait. Hmm. I know they've got discards. Uh, I mean, obviously they have Go Blank. Ah, oh, man. Man. Ah, that was, that was unfortunate. Uh, yeah, fair enough. We should have just taken the Meat Hook Massacre as we had it. Uh, but I didn't want to just lose it. I wanted to try and get a two for one, but that was a bit greedy, obviously. Uh, and now we're kind of out of luck. So we are gonna just draw a card here off of this and hope for the best. <sighs> Unfortunately, the best we have is a shambling gas. <coughs> I 
we're getting very unlucky with some of these draws, but it is what it is. Like, I, I do think that this deck is going to suffer against quite a number of different decks anyway, so it's okay. Like, I'm not expecting to just take over games like uh, you can with certain decks in the meta right now, but I was hoping for a little better. Uh, but that's okay. We're, we're doing the best we can. Uh, let's go ahead and crack this solely to, again, deck thin a little bit. Uh, we just want to make sure that we've got the best options possible uh, for our draws. So <laughs> go ahead and get a black source here. It really doesn't matter too much. Okay. Uh, it, this would be really good if we had anything else that we could do, uh, <laughs> but we just don't. So we'll exile this. Um, which is a playable card for us next turn, but like, they're just gonna get to kill to vault. I mean, there's only so much we can do, right? Uh, and they've just got Toxel, which is a massively difficult card to deal with. This thing is so annoying. Uh, it's a very good card. So they're gonna kill that. We could have plussed up to vault uh, had we wanted to, but I just don't know that that's the right call. Uh, cancel attackers. There you get a minus one on that one. Uh, and then they can just attack in and... Oh, man. Well, they killed us. It is what it is. Unfortunately, that is two losses for us. They're going to attack in with their uh, Toxerol and their Nighthawk Scavenger for the win. Fair enough. Look, we are not doing super well, but that is okay. We've got time for one more game. Let's see what we can do, guys. All right, guys, this is going to be our final game. So let's hope for the best. Let's see what we can do. Uh, this is a pretty strong start. I mean, we've got some late game stuff. We've got the Infernal Grass. We've even got a Valky here. So I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see what we can do. Uh, let's see. So I think the play is Haunted Ridge, then Hive, and then the other Haunted Ridge afterwards. So that way we can play a two mana spell here as we f as we uh, see the need. Um, oh, well, that kind of solves that problem, I suppose. But I still think we'll we'll keep with that. Uh, really happy to have a man land here. As we've seen on the last couple games, it'd be really nice to still be able to pressure the opponent even after they sweep our board, get rid of our threats, that kind of stuff. It would just be nice to have that. Uh, and so very, very happy to see that. Hopefully we can get something going there. A uh, little worried about what the opponent could have here. So this brings up two options. We can Valky, expecting to see a creature in hand, which I'm sure they do have. Or we can Infernal Grasp and just get rid of the Reclusive Painter. I think I'm going to go the Valky play. Uh, I fully expect that they probably will have plenty of kill spells as well. Uh, especially with this, it makes me think they probably have Frostbite in the deck. Otherwise, I don't know why you would necessarily play this without Frostbite. Uh, and so... We'll do the best we can here, but hopefully we can get something good. Okay, uh, well, both of these are quite good, but obviously Valky is going to die next turn, so it doesn't matter too much what we take. Uh, they don't have another land, which is actually pretty relevant. Um, and if we can beat them on lands here, we actually can, can get ahead of their big powerful dragons and whatnot. So let's hope for the best. We can do it. I believe in us. Cool, you got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, but again, if this isn't a land, they're behind. I mean, significantly behind in this case, because we can start to uh, kind of wipe out some of their stuff here. Uh, yeah, I like it. Definitely going to save the Infernal Grasp here uh, for one of these two big dragons. This one's going to be a little trickier to get around, uh, because obviously they can just sack this to kill it. But... Uh, or to give it indestructible, excuse me. Uh, so we are going to have to kind of play around with this a little bit and finesse our way to it, but uh, hopefully we can get there. Double Infernal Grasp. Well, that might change the math here. So with this in hand, what we can do is go ahead and preemptively kill the Reclusive Painter, which just means they won't have a creature. So if they draw land, play this, they won't have a secondary creature to sacrifice to the Predator, uh, which I think is worth it. Uh, the only reason I say that, uh, this is going to then be able to, we could just kill it with the other Infernal Grasp, and then if they don't draw lands, they're not on Goldspan Dragon anytime soon. Now, Goldspan Dragon solves the land issue for them once they get it down, <laughs> uh, which is a little scary, but, 
Uh, we should be able to kind of deal with this as we see fit. Uh, yeah, I think that was the right call, though. Uh, we could have waited, I suppose, until our turn. It really didn't have to be this on our turn that we did that, but I think that's okay. Uh, worth noting again, at some point we do have Hive of the Eye Tyrant, so we will be able to just get some attacks in uh, and deal some damage to them here. This is great. So they're behind another turn at this point, which is very, very good. Uh, question is, do we want to unexpected windfall? I think we just wait. We can, depending on what they draw here, so if they get a land, they just play the Predator, we can just Infernal Grasp it, which is perfect. Uh, otherwise, we can Windfall, but I think we we should probably wait on that. Uh, we can do this and the Infernal Grasp, but we use up both of our treasure tokens to do so. I'm not particularly fond of doing that. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, that's fine. It's not really the end of the world for us. Uh, what do we want to do? This does give them something to sacrifice here, so that is worth noting. Uh, we may want to get rid of this at the end of the turn here. Um, hmm. Curious. Very curious. Opponent playing very carefully, which I do appreciate. Uh... You know, we've got a turn here. Let's actually Unexpected Windfall first. I'm going to get rid of that Field of Ruin. I'm going to draw two cards and create a couple treasure tokens. If we get like a Tabalt off the top here, we're in pretty good shape because then we can just start to exile these and start to steal a bunch of stuff, which would be a really big game-changing play for us. This also gets us a little bit further along for the Meat Hook Massacre, so if they happen to get a Goldspan Dragon down or the Predator, we, instead of having the Infernal Grass, we can just Meat Hook Massacre on the following turn. But uh, regardless, this is gonna put us in a much better spot. That's very good. That is a easy, easy way to kill this uh, and not really have to deal with the consequences. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. Easy enough, uh, let's, Get it out of there. Um, we do get a learn trigger. Um, I guess it's just the the mascot exhibition at this point. Um, I mean, we don't. We've got plenty to uh, to do here, and we could just throw the shambling ghast out and then have the infernal grasp up, and we're sitting pretty good. Uh, again, they don't have two creatures, so if they do drop the predator. Uh, we've got the Infernal Grass just to go ahead and take it out. Um, worth noting, the follow-up Goldspan Dragon is a bit scary, uh, but again, we've kind of got ways to kill it. Like, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the Mascot Exhibition also going to be quite good for us here because this looks like a one-for-one kind of removal deck. Not really something that I'm worried about uh, sweepers. They may have a Meat Hook Massacre, uh, which would be quite good, but they are playing so carefully here, uh, which is... Smart. I mean, 100% smart. All right, so we do know that they've got this, uh, which does mean we might want to get some exile effects in here. I think prior to, though, we may end up just using the mascot exhibition. Uh, I guess the alternative, though... No, I think we're going to do this. Let's get this in there uh, for an attack. They can dragons fire it if they would like, and that's totally fine um don't particularly care but we are gonna get an exile effect in uh i think we take the play with fire just so they don't have a target for future adversaries they may have some reanimator elements i don't know but i think the play with fire is more of a worry than anything else uh really appreciate the patience that this uh this opponent has they are being so careful here uh, and being very, very clever with their their uh, plays. They're not just recklessly throwing stuff out, which I think a lot of people would, myself included. Uh, and I think that that's very smart on their end. Uh, sure. So we knew they were going to do that. That is fine. Uh, it's not great for us, but we still get to leave up the Infernal Grasp, which is very important for us. Four, five, uh, six, seven. So... The only trick here is we do kind of need some lands. We don't have a lot of lands here. <laughs> this does still get exiled, which is uh, important. 
I feel like my voice when I'm sick sounds so raspy and weird. It's it's strange. I, I'm very sorry if I do sound a little weird, guys. Hopefully it's not too bad, but uh, it is what it is. I can't really can't really do anything about it. <laughs> All right. So uh, going into this next turn, fully expect to see the gold span dragon come down, um, which we will 100% just kill. So that's gonna hit. We're just gonna go ahead and kill it. There's no reason not to. They get a treasure token off of the deal, but this now counts for two until this dies. And if they've got a two mana spell, that's fine. Like they might get rid of Shambling Gas. I don't know. Not really worried about it. We do have the Meat Hook Massacre, but I'm trying to go one for one on these until we know for sure that we can get uh, a little bit extra. We'll see. Uh, we've also just drawn so much removal at this point that it's like, why not use the, the one for ones? Uh, it's, it allows us to do bigger plays on our on our turns, whereas these instant speed kill spells kind of get around some of this uh, treasure creation and that kind of stuff with the Goldspan Dragon. Perfect. All right. Goldspan Dragon out. Uh, very good. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and throw this out there. It's going to create another treasure token for us, which is worth it. Now, again, we're forcing our our opponent into the position of do you just play the predator as is, or do you have something else you can play with it? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, yeah. Very good from the opponent here, because now they've got a secondary spell that they can drop. Uh, so if they want to play the predator, now is really the time um, in my opinion. It looks like they might. A bit all in, for sure, but... I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this now while they don't have a follow-up play. Uh, and now we can Meat Hook Massacre for three, if we'd like. Uh, which I would. I guess we could attack in first. That makes sense too. Yeah, why not? Why not attack him? It can't hurt. Uh, so I fully expect that they know there's a meat hook massacre coming, but let's see if they actually block. They may not. Uh, they may think, well, they might have like a two damage spell or something like that. So they may not go for it, but regardless, um, extra point of damage so let's be smart about our plays here uh worth noting the field of ruin is going to be really helpful against their hive of the eye tyrant as well okay uh yes we just let that hit uh and then we hit for two sure i hate that it plays it that way it's kind of odd okay uh let's create a treasure token uh, pass. So now we can Field of Ruin on uh, at instant speed and get rid of this if they activate it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, would love to use these treasure tokens for the mascot exhibition just to kind of keep pressure going, but it is what it is. We'll make it work, hopefully. <laughs> so let's go ahead and blank their turn basically by doing this uh and we'll get a uh, a land out of the deal a little bit of deck thinning as well <laughs> i'm doing it before it attacks by the way because we don't really want it to exile one of our things i almost accidentally declined there which would have been really bad <laughs> okay uh let's go ahead and sack this we'll draw a couple cards um cool not amazing, but not bad either. Uh, definitely helpful. So we would love to get some more lands. We just don't have a lot of lands at this point. Um, kind of an odd card for the opponent to have here, but that's fine. Uh, do we just block it with the Shambling Gas? I actually think we do. We can create a treasure token here, uh, which I'm happy to have. And then hopefully, uh, yeah. We draw something big off the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this gives us max mascot exhibition mana. 
uh, if we'd like it, or we can just exile this. Um, or Meat Hook Massacre, I suppose, but... Alright, land. Land's good. I'm gonna go ahead and Mascot Exhibition here. Let's get some pressure going. Um, this 2-3 is kind of annoying, but it's not really the end of the world. And we do have the 4-4 four, four to block it, so now it's really more about uh, them having like a big powerful creature. That would be what I would worry about more so than anything else. Okay, sure. That's fine. Uh, burn up those burn spells, you know what I mean? Uh, now they're down to one card in hand. It's a Valky, which is very good, but uh, not really at this point in the game. Uh, I think at this point we kind of have that one, so that's good. Uh, and we can two for one with the Meat Hook Massacre if we'd like. Which I fully expect is the right call. Alright. Oh, we just have a Spike Field Hazard. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna do this. Let's go ahead and exile that. It just gets it out of there so we don't really have to worry about it. And now we've got Baleful Mastery to deal with this if we need to. Um, I'm gonna attack him with both. Cool. We win this race, so like... We have lethal next turn, uh, which is very relevant. So now we just have to carefully play the Baleful Mastery and we should be okay. Um, yeah, I feel like that's okay. Ah, very good. Okay, uh, that's a very good card, but I don't think it's going to solve the problem. I guess they do get some free activations here. Uh, so they get one card, basically, from their graveyard. Uh, which is gonna be that. That's fine. Yeah. So, I'm gonna go ahead and exile this now. Just means that they can't attack in with it. Um, and they still lose a life, so we do still have lethal this upcoming turn. Uh, and truthfully, we can just Meat Hook Massacre for three, get rid of this, and get the attack in, and we win. So that's helpful. Um, yeah, I think they know, they obviously see this in our hands, so, oh, that's even better. Let's just do that. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what we take here. <laughs> Ooh, let's do it, guys. Heck, yes, we finally got a win. That was an interesting game, actually. Uh, very, very fun. Awesome deck. Let's talk about it. All right, so again, I just want to give a huge thank you to Sonio. Please go check out his channel. It is down below, so please go uh, thank him for posting this deck over on Aethera, but also just being an awesome content creator. Uh, did the deck work out as well as I was hoping? No. Uh, but it did work out. In that last game, we finally were able to get it. Now, we didn't actually get Tabalt down in that game, but... Uh, Tybalt is such a good card, and it's really nice to be able to ramp into it uh, in, in uh, standard, because if you can get it out early, you are well ahead of the curve. Uh, now, there's a lot of stuff that deals with Planeswalkers right now, um, and so unfortunately it's not necessarily going to stick around, but it's usually at least going to give you a playable turn the following turn, because at the very least you can exile something on the opponent's side of the field, or you can exile some cards from the top of the deck, and then you just get to play those next turn. So, um, obviously we could have played a little better in certain scenarios on these, uh, first two games in particular, but I think we did pretty well. This was, this was a fun one. So thank you again, Sonio. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all of you guys for watching. Please make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're not already, uh, and wish we, I, I hopefully will be, uh, feeling better very soon and not have this scratchy voice. Uh, but hopefully, uh, we'll have some more gameplay every single day. Uh, for the foreseeable future. That is still the goal. So thank you guys again. I love you all. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you again very soon.